I'm going to read Whitman, and the only hard thing about it is trying to limit uh, myself to only five minutes of Whitman, just because he tends to be rather expansive. Um, and I'll read one section of Leaves of Grass, and then one, one part of um, Rest Upon Day, because it's Daniel's favorite Whitman. Walt Whitman, an American, one of the roughs, a cosmos, disorderly, flesh, fleshly, and sensual, eating, drinking, and breeding, no sentimentalist, no stander above men and women or apart from them, no more modest than immodest. Unscrew the locks from the doors, unscrew the doors themselves from their jams. Whoever degrades another degrades me, and whatever is done or said returns at last to me, and whatever I do or say, I also return. Through me, the afflatus surging and surging, through me, the current and index. I speak the password primeval. I give the sign of democracy. By God, I will accept nothing which all cannot have their counterpart of on the same terms. Through me, many long dumb voices, voices of the interminable generations of slaves, voices of prostitutes and of deformed persons, voices of the diseased and despairing and of thieves and dwarves, voices of cycles of preparation and accretion and of the threads that connect the stars and of wombs and of the father's stuff and of the rights of them the others are down upon, of the trivial and flat and foolish and despised of fog in the air and beetles rolling balls of dung. Through me, forbidden voices, Voices of sexes and lusts, voices veiled, and I remove the veil. Voices indecent by me clarified and transfigured. I do not press my finger across my mouth. I keep as delicate around the bowels as around the head and heart. Copulation is no more rank to me than death is. I believe in the flesh and the appetites. Seeing, hearing, and feeling are miracles, and each part and tag of me is a miracle. Divine am I inside and out, and I make holy whatever I touch or am touched from. The scent of these armpits is aroma finer than prayer. This head is more than churches or Bibles or creeds. If I worship any particular thing, it shall be some of the spread of my body. Translucent mold of me, it shall be you. Shaded ledges and rests, firm masculine culture, it shall be you. Whatever goes to the tilth of me, it shall be you. You, my rich blood, your milky stream, pale strippings of my life, breast that presses against other breasts, it shall be you. My brain, it shall be your occult convolutions, root of washed sweet flag, timorous pond snipe, nest of guarded duplicate eggs, it shall be you. Mixed tuzzled hay of head and beard and brawn, it shall be you. Trickling sap of maple, fiber of manly wheat, it shall be you. Sun so generous, it shall be you. Vapors lighting and shading my face, it shall be you. You sweaty brooks and dews, it shall be you. Winds whose soft tickling genitals rub against me, it shall be you. Broad muscular folds, branches of live oak, loving lounger in my winding paths, it shall be you. Hands I have taken, face I have kissed, mortal I have ever touched, it shall be you. I dote on myself. There is that lot of me and all so luscious, each moment and whatever happens thrills me with joy. I cannot tell how my ankles bend, nor whence the cause of my faintest wish, nor the cause of the friendship I emit, nor the cause of the friendship I take again. The walk of my stoop is unaccountable. I pause to consider if it really be that I, ink, that I eat and drink is spectacle enough for the great authors and schools. A morning glory at my window satisfies me more than the metaphysics of books to behold the daybreak. The little light fades the immense and diaphanous shadows. The air tastes good to my palate. Hefts of the moving world at innocent gambles, silently rising, freshly exuding, scooting obliquely high and low. Something I cannot see puts upward libidinous prongs, seas of bright juice suffuse heaven. The earth by the sky stayed with the daily close of their junction the heaved challenge from the east that moment over my head, the mocking taunt, see then whether you shall be master. And just a, a little bit from the other poem because he goes on for a long time. This is Ray Spondé. 
Responde, responde, the war is completed, the price is paid, the title is settled beyond recall. Let everyone answer. Let those who sleep be waked, let none evade. Must we still go on with our affectations and sneaking? Let me bring this to a close. I pronounce openly for a new distribution of roles. Let that which stood in front go behind and let that which was behind advance to the front and speak. Let murderers, bigots, fools, unclean persons offer new propositions. Let the old propositions be postponed. Let faces and theories be turned inside out. Let meanings be freely criminal as well as results. Let there be no suggestion above the suggestion of drudgery. Let none be pointed toward his destination. Say, do you know your destination? Let churches accommodate serpents, vermin, and the corpses of those who have died of the most filthy of diseases. Let marriage slip down among fools and be for none but fools. Let men among themselves talk and think forever obscenely of women, and let women among themselves talk and think obscenely of men. Let us all, without missing one, be exposed in public, naked, monthly, at the peril of our lives. Let our bodies be freshly handled and examined by whoever chooses. Let nothing but copies at second hand be permitted to exist upon the earth. Let the earth desert God, nor let there ever henceforth be mentioned the name of God. Let there be no God. Let there be money, business, imports, exports, custom, authority, precedence, pallor, dyspepsia, smut, ignorance, unbelief. Let judges and criminals be transposed. Let the prison keepers be put in prison. Let those who are prisoners take the keys. Say, why might they not just as well be transposed? Let the slaves be masters. Let the masters become slaves. Thank you.